Honestly, doesn't look too bad on me. There's the double EXP buff as well, so it's easier to level up jobs. Nice. You reached 90 before finishing the level 80 quest. Whoa. On the dry docks. I remember there's like a, a point in this game where you get stuck, I think. It's like between level 50 and 60 where you have to grind for a bit. But that's the only grind I know of. What do you say, taking on some work from Naldik and Vimelis? We have a great hulking warship to build and could certainly use an extra hand for any number of tasks. For your first job, I need you to run this missive over to Atberm, the head of the shipwright at the Moraby Dry Docks. We forge most of the ship's bits and pieces here at the Armorer's Guild, but the actual construction takes place at the docks bound south of Lower Lanoska. There's also... That's also where you'll find the main offices of Naldik and Vimelis. Moraby Dry Docks is one of Limsa Lamintz's most important districts. At least as far as I'm concerned. I'm sure you'll not regret attuning yourself to the area's Aetherite. If you've no confidence in your sense of direction, you'd best be served to make use of one of the Chocobo Porters. First floor of the Mizzen Mast, in case you were wondering. Should you choose to make the trek on your own two feet, leave the city through the Tempest Gate and follow the road south. May the navigator guide your steps. Okay. Oh yeah, you remember that. Had to do daily leveling, leveling drum dungeons just to reach level 60 yeah I remember I I forget how you do it but you could back in the day you could have like a a group of NPC characters I think you had to like level up your free company to unlock like your own little minions that was always nice all right Take me to the Marauders Guild. It's about time we did another job quest. I'll do it on the way. Iron War Axe. Oh, and I can throw things. Perfect. Ooh. And some actual armor. I see you've been diligent in your training. You need not tell me in words chosen your bearing and your unwavering gaze. It is time for you to once more lift your axe in service to the guild. There have been reports of sizable creature roaming the outskirts of Aleport in western Lanaska. The monster is no Kujata, but the fret it presence of the locals is nonetheless sufficient to warrant our attention should also prove a worthy foe for you to test your burgeoning power prowess. How to find the beast? Well, I am fortunate enough to count among my acquaintances a veteran hunter and archer by the name of Rainfrid. He took up residence in Aleport some years ago and will gladly aid you in his in this task. With Rainfrid's assistance, you are to track down this prowling danger provided a swift and bloody passage to the afterlife. May your axe swing true. Okay. There are three versions of those NPC parties now. One in free company, one when soloing dungeons, and one unlocked in Shadowbringers. Yeah. Uh, in this playthrough, we're, we're going to exclusively do like the soloing dungeon one. So that we don't feel guilty about not knowing the mechanics or uh, watching all the cutscenes. That's why I'm calling this a social anxiety run. We're going to play the MMO almost entirely solo. I mean, it, we, we might make lifelong friendships along the way, but they'll be totally on accident. Alright, can I just... Teleport somewhere? 
Where is Aleport? Somewhere in Western Lanaska, right? I think that's where he said. It makes sense, especially as a tank trying to figure out everything out again. Yeah. I mean, I could put some effort into, like, actually being decent to the game, but in the lower levels, who needs it? There's Aleport. Western Lanosk is not so pretty. Do I have all the graphics turned up as high as they'll go? Display settings? Is it, uh, um, hmm. I'll look into it. I won't waste everyone's time with me uh, looking at my display settings. I know they uh, did like a, a resolution update or a graphics update recently. I think it's out. I assume it came out with John, Dawn Trail. And I just noticed, I don't think I look any prettier. Pew Catchlings. Not in my town. You're missing the game very much again. It's a good game. It kind of saddens me that I've never been able to take advantage of the free trial. Because I've never gotten past where the free trial actually gets you. Problem is, like, since I've had the collector's edition since the game first came out. Like, I've never qualified for the free trial. It's like you've, you've owned the thing for too long. You deserve to keep giving us money. There was a while when I accidentally gave the game like a hundred dollars. They had kind of a weird setup at first where you would pay like you you would buy an account and then you would pay to have characters on that account. It was the weirdest thing. And I thought by deleting the characters off your account that would, you know, in turn stop you from uh, paying for the game but I forgot to like actually cancel the account itself and I didn't check my bank statements closely enough so I ended up accidentally paying for not having any characters in the game for a full year Ooh, do I have a legacy account oh it's so legacy well met travel or er, might I interest you in a chocobo porter like, I've actually been avoiding this Moogle here. You might notice I have 14 unread males. Greetings, tall one. I'm a delivery Moogle. Oh, look. Yeah, Moogle, 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 Moogle. Gotcha. You have 14 new letters. Thank you for playing Final Fantasy. Uh, let's see. Is this the first one ever? Yes. Check this out. Yep, yep, Moogle, 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 Moogle. Onion hat. Very few people have this hat. Look how beautiful I am. It's adorable, right? I've got every 
everything they ever, every random reward they ever gave somebody. You know, for like server maintenance like 13 years ago and things like that. What am I doing here? Right, right, right. Yeah, speak with Rainfred. It is adorable. It actually looks pretty decent on this character. I mean, it's a little puffy. But, you know, that's how onion hats do. Hang on. Where is the actual person I'm talking to? Kaizo Parizo. That's a cool name. Is this, uh, this is not the room. I think I also have like a pet behemoth, maybe a pet Magitek armor. Uh, I've got a point little finger pointer. I think I also have like a Cloud Strife outfit. There, there's many, many things that I can get in the mailbox. One of Wern Zone boys, are you? Well, I, I've known that Sprat since he was a knee high to a. Well, he was kind of a big fellow. Was worse than. And uh, they call him Axe Master, eh? Not a suitable or lot, you marauders. Uh, so I suppose you're here to hunt down our local trouble. What you need to do then is take yourself northwest up towards Camp Skull Valley. Give a good whistle. The mean bugger you're after, his name's. Patripat, Patripatan. By the by, we'll come running across the weeded plans, plains. They'll think you're trespassing on his territory. See? So you better cleave a, have that cleaver of yours ready. Ashan's blessings be upon you. Okay. Do I have the tattoo? I mean, I've got an adorable little heart tattoo on my cheek. What is the tattoo? Look, uh, look what we have here. 13 new letters have just arrived for you. Let's see. I've got the Helm of Light. Got a little baby behemoth. Uh, behemoth Barding. Coral Bell. Oh, I've got a free Fantasia post potion. Uh, let's see. Black Bokobo uh, Cascade uniforms. More Fantasias. A fat Chocobo whistle. Yeah, once we get mounts, that's what I'll use. Wind up Moogle. Yeah, and here's my Strife outfit. Wind Rose. Oh yeah, the Wind Rose outfit. Forget what games that's from. Tantalus. Yeah, I could dress up like uh, Zidane. Zidane? From Final Fantasy IX? Oh, and I've got the Leonhardt. So, uh, Leonhardt. So I could dress up like the, the Protag from Final Fantasy VIII. Don't show Ronan the fat chocobo? Oh. I'm gonna show everyone the fat chocobo when the time comes. I think you like you you lead the chocobo around with a cake on a stick. It's adorable. There's this cool looking tattoo on the nape of the characters. Uh, I wonder if my hair is in the way. Alright, hang on. Is that from characters who've been active this entire time? If so, yeah, I wouldn't have it.
I'd have to check like the other data centers to see if I have someone from that time. Because I think I've got some survivors over on like Ultros or something. Characters that were imported to ARR. Yeah. I don't think I would have that. Because that's when they had like the, the terrible uh, pay money per character uh, monetization like way, way back when. What am I doing here? I'm just killing these guys. I'm killing anything has a hunting icon on it, which is just everything out here. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself. I think the normal questing would probably take me here in a bit. Somehow I've wandered into uh, Starship Troopers. I heard the latest Starship Troopers game was pretty good. It's a shame it came out like right before Helldivers because Helldivers came out and just blew it away. You there, how many more of these guys do I need? This has got to be the last one, right? And Dusk Bats, they're on the list too. knows that thing doesn't have arms yeah he doesn't axe to grind level two We're flying up the level chain We're getting very distracted from the main story quest, and I'm sorry for that. I'm trying not to do that too much. But I'm slightly worried that we might run into like leveling issues if we do just the main story quest. I should look into if that's actually true or not. Hedge Molt, man, they just want me to kill everything here. Level 20, whoa there, speedster. I will not, whoa. for sure. Oh, okay, cool. Don't think I'll have any issues because of the double XP. Do I have double XP? I sure do. I am seeing that 200% there. Can you remind me why I have double XP? Is it because I'm on uh, a new server? I did hop on a Halicarnassus like, uh, like you are. Just in case we meet one day. You do. All new characters in that data center. Okay. Alright. One more Mantis. Ah, <gasps> Dark Helmet. From, from Spaceballs? He's adorable.
We saw a super ladybug earlier too. Alright. Let's get back to, to business. And maybe I'll start ignoring the hunting log. It would be easier to like uh, do if I had that like a flying mount. I think flat chocobo can actually fly. Alright, hey. Bugger off. I said I'm done with you. You've leveled up twice outside of the MSQ? Yeah. We're overdoing it. A hostile presence. No, nah, look at him. He's a little part of a trub trub chain. Fate failed. Oh no? Here, have a kick. Flying Mount is at level 50? Yeah. It could be that we get to the point where... If I remember right, the game freezes you at level 50 until you get to Heaven's Ward. And then it's like, oh, you need to be level 60 all of a sudden. And then you have to grind from 50 to 60. Does that sound about right? And so if I, I save all the the hunting quests for then. Deliver the missive at Morby Dry Docks. Where is Morby Dry Docks? Is that anywhere near here? Lower Lanaska. Okay. Oh wait, no. Report to Axe Master at the thing. Alright. We're less confused. Here we go. But it won't be... That was what happened at your old data center, yeah. It won't be a problem here because of the buff. Okay. Neat. Okay, well then I'll start ignoring the hunting log. I don't want the viewers to be bored. I was uh, trying to do do those just to like supplement the experience points along the way. It's an easy way to grind levels. I have been in contact with Rainfield, Rainfred, and he had not but praise for you, old. Your representation of the guild has been exemplary. There's one more task I would have you complete this day, a task that will demonstrate for you, just how strong you've become. Report to Scarflin, uh, where he waits on the bank of the Ageless River. Ageless River, and he shall help you unveil the untapped power of your axe. Okay. Report to where? Scarflin. Scapfagium. I think he might be a Cthulhu type. Lower Nazca. Can I just teleport near there? No. Alright, how does one get to Lower Nazca quickly? Hang on. Straight south of here. That would probably be the aft. Yeah. I was thinking about being a, a male Rogadin. I just don't like being that fat. 
I like being tall. I don't like being that fat. Like I'm trying to live a fantasy life. I'm 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 plenty fat in real life. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Uh, let's see. Oof. Oh, the Morby Dry Docks. I was supposed to head there anyway. This can't be the right way. I guess this is the right way. I think you made a Lollafell at first because it resonated with the, the round. You'd think I would play a Lollafell. But there's just... Like, I, I like to take the story kind of seriously. Like, I don't like to be too goofy. And when you're a toddler with an axe, it's hard to take the story seriously. An aura because of the horn? Fair, fair. I like being a, a female Rogadin. I liked being nine foot tall, super muscular. Every time in cutscenes, everybody was always like looking up at me. Sometimes my head would be clipped off by the camera. It was great. Everyone's like, you don't look so tough as I'm like 9,000 feet tall. And hands the size of their entire body. A hey, chocobo keep. How you doing? There's a mount. Are you flying on the Loch Ness monster? Kind of cute. Wait. Keep getting lost. I'm trying to do the Marauder quest. Which apparently is in middle Anaska. This is what I get for having multiple quests active at once. But at least when we need to be here, it'll be a short trip. Uh. Ch -ch 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 Middle. Oh no, my alarm's telling me I need to go to work. I refuse. Whoa. <gasps> it's Pictomancy. I think. I mean, it looks all splorchy. It's got to be Pictomancy, right? Not you maxing out the accepted quest limit. I'm trying to resist. There's so many extra quests to do. I mean, they're kind of handy to keep around in case you ever want to like level a class up from zero again. And apparently you don't need them for the experience points. Oh, 
All right, we're hustling. These just teach me how to throw axes at things. Just hop over here. I would have been mad if it made me go around. Hello, Skeptical Gibbon. Hi, lad. I know why you're here. And after seeing this big old boulder, I'd wager you know what you're here to do, too. Now, my rock's a bit more a challenge than those pebbles Rock Gam had you training on. Crack this beauty will require a relatively heavy swing. Impossible, you say? Ha! We're in zone, wouldn't send you out here if you didn't think you capable. Uh, doink. Ah, oh, would you look at that? And on your first attempt, too. Well, I guess it's back to the Axe Master for you. That... Yeah, that was time well spent. Oh no, my return. Now I have to spend money. If I remember right, the other job quests weren't as dumb as go break this rock. But maybe it's the nostalgia glasses. They probably were. Like, if you go pugilist, they'll be like, punch this rock. Black mage, they're like, set fire to this rock. I knew you would return before long. The deafening crack of shattering boulder reached me even here. This feat of strength deserves recognition. You shall have it in the form of a new technique, adopted and per perfected by our guild forebears. The tomahawk throw was first devised as by pirates as an opening attack on closing enemy vessels. Though we primarily focus on close quarter combat, you will no doubt find you have a powerful range strike at your, dis at your disposal greatly expands your tactical versatility. I sense the impending confrontation with the Kujata weighs heavily on your mind, old. But hurried swings lead to glancing blows. There's no swift road to attain the, the peak of mastery you seek, only steady, measured ascent. Hey, I get things. Actual armor, maybe? But which ones do I want? Yeah, you know what? I could do without the leather. Pugilist was used boot shine on this rock. And I looked everywhere for boot shine item, not knowing it was the skill name. Yeah. My skills are kinda... Kinda real dumb. It doesn't look like bronze. Oh, I'm upset with my choice now. This shirt doesn't match my pants. Alright, let's keep going. I'm having fun. I could trade up for iron. Ooh, but an iron salada. I do think my hat looks really stupid, so I think that's the way to go. Hold, there is trouble afoot. You recall that lad whose parents were slain by the beast Kujata? The boy's grandfather, Nettered, but, but recently contacted us with worrisome news. Young Sigurd had gone missing. There have been sightings of Kujata in the area, and it would seem that the child felt compelled to seek the creature out. As you are familiar with the boy and his tragic tale, I would have you attend to this matter. My sister, Sulkweeb, uh, awaits you at the Bismarck. She has been apprised of the situation and will aid you in plotting a suitable course of action. Okay.
Would look great with the onion that night, I think. I don't know. Well, no, you're right. And you're right, you're right. Alright. Where's Soul Weeb? He's at the Bismarck, which is nearby. I don't think I've uh, unlocked that waypoint. Why'd you chuckle at Nettered? You were drinking, <laughs> drinking and almost spat it out. Well, Nettered. Seems like a name you would give to your least favorite child. Thanks, Granddad. Thank you for the follow, uh, Tangle Slime. How are you doing? Oh, I have been here before. Soulqweeb's a pretty good name, too. How oh, old? I assume you're here to discuss the missing child and not to sample a bowl of mutton stew. Actually, that sounds pretty good. First thing first, I would advise against rushing off to peer under every rock in the countryside. We need more information to direct our search. I suggest we head to the Red Rooster Stead and learn what more we can from old Nettard. Uh, okay, where's the Red Rooster Stead? Would that be in the lower? Can I, can I get a map? Lower Lanaska. Okay, cool. Uh, I believe... Yeah, I can teleport. Good, you were just watching my new Dave the Diver video. It's just now that you see I also stream on Twitch. I stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Trying to be everywhere you want to be. I might actually expand to other streaming platforms in the future. But it was stressful enough setting up YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I could also stream to TikTok. Maybe even Twitter? Possibly Discord. I'm not sure how it all works. I see now the difficulty of using uh, the controller for in-game menus. Uh, you get used to it. I This is the only MMO that I would ever recommend controller for. But it takes some practice. Your heart's gonna count... Uh, conquer the whole streaming space, building up the empire. I'm I'm doing my best. You have a missive for me from Forge Master Hananza. I assume it pertains to the pending arri arrival of materials you ordered over a moon past. Let's see it then. Wait, you're not. You're not nettered. Come on, where is nettered? Stupid controls. Uh, Nettered. Way up there. I don't think I can take the Chocobo Keep up there. Shoot. Alright. It's time for a long walk. Whee! Maybe the Chocobo Keep will be kind enough to let me up. But yeah, I do. I am trying to stream as hard as I can. Like, I'm trying to treat it like an actual job. Put in the, the effort. And maybe eight years from now, I can quit my day job. That's the dream. It's already working a lot better than I thought it would. Oh, sweet. I can't get a ride.
So at at current, uh, we make somewhere around like thirty or forty dollars a month streaming, which is way better than than I thought. I was expecting maybe like fifty bucks in a year. That was my estimate for how much money I could make in my first year of streaming, like 50 bucks. And it ended up being closer to like 400. Granted, like this whole time I'm putting in effort. Like I, I chop up every video I make into convenient episodes. Although I'm starting to get the impression people tend to like the, the long videos. Like the big two hour ones instead of the uh, the little episodes I chop up. But the episodes are a little easier for people to discover me by. And I try to make a tutorial every now and then. Because nobody just wants to like walk in and see you play in video games. Most of your crowd is going to come from like helping them with problems that they actually have. Nobody has the problem of not finding somebody playing video games. Maybe a version of both? Upload the long one and the chopped up versions? I do! That's exactly what I do. There's some legal issues with, uh... Well, not legal issues. Uh... Some, uh, agreement issues with Twitch and YouTube where I have to... What am I doing? Are you nettered? You're not nettered. Uh, Twitch owns the video for the first 24 hours. So even though I'm streaming on YouTube, immediately after I'm done, I have to take it down immediately, and then I schedule it to come up at the same time as my chopped up videos. That way, whichever one you want, that's the one you get. The way YouTube works is whatever type of video you watch the most, that's the kind of videos you're more likely to see. And so if you like the normal little tiny episodes, you're going to see my normal tiny little episodes. If you like the long ones, you're going to see the long ones. Maybe one day I'll have shorts, too. I hear there's a whole group of Zoomers out there in the universe who don't even know long videos exist on YouTube. Nettered. Thank God's your ear. Seems my grandson is set on causing naught but trouble for ye. But surely ye can know how uh, the lad is feeling. How he's boiling after eight for that murderous beast. Man, use some consonants. And the last time when you came along, like an avenging angel showed him the strength of your steel, well, you lit a fire in his belly. He must have gone it in his head to take revenge on the beast itself, daft little bugger. Any road, once he heard Kujat had been spotted near Ale Point, why, he shot through the door like an arrow from a bow. And I ain't seen him since. I beg of ye, find for me little Seagird, before he gets himself stomped to death. That big bastard Aurochs has spilled more than enough of me kin's blood. Do you get any of that, Silkweeb? Our course is clear. We must set out for Aleport at once. An old acquaintance of mine, Farstim. Farstim? Okay, okay. Often stands guard at the point gates. Port gates. He might know something about the lad's whereabouts. I thought his name was Fartstim for a second. <laughs> Many people like you also want to see their favorite streamers play video games. A great example is Z1 Gaming. He amassed an enormous following with episodes of him playing random games. Oh. I do like playing random games. I mean, that's kind of what I play. Like, I've got some pretty severe ADHD, and I can't pay attention to the same game for a long time. And so I end up playing like four or five different ones a month. 
One day, if it can be my full-time job, it's probably going to double. Like, it's really rare that I spend more than, like, 60 hours in a single game. In MMOs, I tend to have trouble, uh... Because I'll have 80 alts, each with a different class in most games. If the story wasn't so good here, I'd probably do the same. Alright, where am I going? I'm going to Aleport, right? Can I take a Chocobo Porter there? Sugar Hearts are cozy variety game streamer. Yeah. People tend to follow me for cozy games, so I try to like keep a cozy game in the mix. Later this week, we're going to be playing uh, Love Ghosty. Uh, I think that comes out tomorrow. And so we will stream it on the day after that. So on Thursday. It seems like a cute game where you, uh, where you, uh, tr -tr -tr. guess we go to Limsa Lominsa, and then we, and then we head to Aleport from there. Shrug. But yeah, in uh, Love Ghosty, you try to hook up various critters in the house on dates like you try to get the the giraffe to fall in love with the toaster or the cat to fall in love with the house plant you know normal things they're all sentient so that might not be an issue it's it's kind of a weird setting but Sounds interesting, right? I don't think it'll be very long, so I, you know, it'll be like 12 hours maybe. So we'll play it for a couple of weeks and a couple of little two hour bursts. Oh, okay, that ghost looks adorable, right? Very normal things, right? Nothing like a, a breeding of breeding abominations for the sake of love. Speaking of which, good morning, daughter. How are you doing? You want to eat chips? Please, daughter, daughter, please. Let's not crunch a bunch of chips into the mic. Speaking of which, uh, listen, she didn't pick up on it. It'll be a little Easter egg for when, uh, 30 years from now she rewatches my videos. Alright, I think I have to go to a different Chocobo Porter down here. Oh my gosh. Or I could stop wasting time and just teleport there. That person's in their underwear. And Limsa Lamensa? Who would do such a thing? Oh. My son's actually been watching my stream a lot. It makes me really happy. Like, I'd love to put on just any old streamer for him, but like... I don't know what, what streams are appropriate for him. Have I seen a bot boy wandering about by himself? As a matter of fact, me and my fellow gate guard here just watched a young lad traipsing off to the north. We were arguing whether or not to abandon our post and bring the child back ourselves. Large packs of jackals have been seen prowling in the wilds of late. So if you mean to head after him, then pray do so quickly. Hells, I might even pass along word to the Marauders Guild. You'll be better off with an extra blade or two behind your back. Okay. Thank you. 
We're gonna save the kid. How old is he? My son, he's eight. Ah, uh, he, he, that's so wholesome, right? I'm six. My daughter is six. You wanna say hi to everybody? Did you say it loud enough for them to hear? You guess? I guess you did too. I think they heard you. Did you all hear my daughter? She said hi. Oh my gosh, so cute, right? They think you're cute. So where's the kid? That's what we're trying to find. Here's his satchel. We found his water skin and his satchel. It seems like the birds are eating his stuff. Cattle tyrant. These don't look like cattle at all. There's Sulk Weeb. Did you find the boy? Have you found any sign of Sigurd? Ah, uh, yeah. Water skin. Satchel. He must have been in a desperate hurry indeed to cast away his be uh, belongings in such a careless manner. I, myself, came across his wood axe. A tool the to Lord lad took from his stead perhaps gods below old over there okay level sync level 24 should i be here yep that's him hit him with the stick kid you got this He did not, in fact, have this. I might. Ugh. Old. Defeat the jackals. These guys? These guys? Yes. These right here? Yes. Boink. I got AOEs. Come on, silk weed. Protect me. I'm gonna get Lander right and all the AoEs. Where's the kid? I don't know. Better not be in my AoEs. Area of effect. That's what you call it when you attack multiple areas at once. Oh, there are more! Friendly fire was the thing. The whole team getting wiped from all the AoEs, right? Man. 
Man, I do look good in that onion hat. Step aside! I mean, I thought I had it handled. We're in zone. He breathes yet. We withdraw to the Red Rooster Stead. Follow my lead, old. Yeah, my name is old. It's always been old. Ever since I was young. Alright. Uh... Ch -ch 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 you can give me a ride to the Red Rooster? No. Alright. Where even am I? I think I'm in lower. And I think the red rooster is in middle. I am getting lost so easy. Was it in middle? Or was it in western? Of how tiny my model gets when I lean back. It's actually my daughter here. Unable to teleport. I don't have enough gill. I don't think I've ever had that issue. Hey, man. Can I sell things? All right. Let's pull out the mouse. I don't have time for this. Uh, is there a quick sell all junk button? High potions probably better than potions, right? Uh, you know what? Sell the potions. I'm not using them. There. Now I'm clearly rich. Sell the Allegan coin things? Yeah. Okay, so I did make money. All right, Aleport's got to be near here, right? <coughs> Excuse me, please. Where am I? All right. Lower Lanaska? Where is this guy? Show me on the map. It is lower. Okay. Yep. And I have done it now. I am broke. Should you open CSGO cases or sub to me at tier 3 for one month? You cannot decide. You should open CSGO cases. I don't know. I guess it depends on how much you hate ads. But, I mean, I intend for all my content to be free. And I only want you to support me if you really, really want to. And uh, as long as you're at a good place in your life. I don't know. I'm always pretty hesitant to spend money on virtual content myself. Like, I'll buy a video game, but beyond that, like buying things for that video game, is not really for me. I won't judge you for it, though. 
Like if if you play a lot of CS:GO and a lot of people who play CS:GO play a lot of CS:GO, it's probably worthwhile to get some cosmetics. But yeah, I'm 100% flattered that you'd even consider subscribing to me. There's a There is a Danders right behind me. Hey, kitty. Because of the chance to make it like 100k? Oh, not a tier 3, then a tier 1 at least? Well, I... yeah. Anything you want to do is greatly appreciated. But never, ever, ever feel obligated. All money I make uh, for the foreseeable future is going straight to improving the quality of the stream, too. Oh! Uh, no chips. Not yet. Not while I'm streaming. Yeah. Now Dander's face is messing with my camera. You've shrunk my, my VTuber. There's so many faces in the mix that my my VTuber can't figure out where I am. He's right here. If you do make 100k from a, a case, you'll give subs. Nice. Meanwhile, there's the Saint's beard calling you. Yeah, yeah. I, I guarantee any money you send my way will go directly to the Saint's beard fund. And buying me the big bushy beard in this game because that's the only way I can get it that I that I know of. Oh my gosh, what is that big monster? All right, let's not get distracted by big monster things. We need to go to the rooster stead. Rooster. Yeah. We need to see that the little boy is okay. But yeah, once we get the saint's beard and I'll look a little more like my avatar. Yeah, I hope it goes good with my hair. Everybody's running. But yeah, the only uh, big bushy beard fashion item that I think is in the entire game was from like an old Christmas event. You can get it with the Santa hat or without the Santa hat. It's over here. We're almost there. Relax. It well, it's a long way on foot. One of these days we'll have mounts. It won't be too far. I'm still shocked that we don't have more gill. Maybe I should be avoiding all the gear drops and just buying gill. Alright. Boy! Nettered. No sprint? Uh, yeah, I have sprint. It just... It's got such a long cooldown. You brought him home! I don't got words to thank ye. You barely got words at all, Nettered. Keep giving me half words. The lad's past the worst of it. He struck his head in the fall, though. And it may be some time before he opens his eyes. Thank you for coming, brother. If you hadn't scattered those jackals when you did, I killed like 90 of those jackals. I have done not to earn your thanks. When I learned of the situation from Aleport, I realized that dangers were greater than I had anticipated. No single marauder could have ta hoped to fend off such numbers in time. You only got one. Pray accept my apologies, Nettered. You turned us for, to us for help, and yet your grandson now lies before you, broken and battered. You risk your life to save little Sigurd. I was a man to find fault with that. It's me who ought to be begging forgiveness for the wounds he took protecting me, foolish boy. You needn't concern yourself with our well-being. Our training prepares us for such eventualities. 
There is not more we can accomplish here, old. It is time we returned to the guild and focused on other tasks. You just got here. <laughs> you just got here. Oh, I'm leaving. Uh oh, you just got here. We're going to the Marauders Guild. No! I've seen all I need to of this place. Doop doop doo. We still haven't used our new uh, axe throwing ability yet. Are there training dummies in the basin? <laughs> Fierce no. So adorable, right? My daughter is quite feisty. Can I hit these dummies? I can't? There's no dummies here for me, huh? Okay. Hustle, 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 hustle. Use me as a dummy. Use you as a dummy? No, I'm good. I will not throw axes at you today. I'm glad the lad will live, but I fear this will not be the last time Sigurd abandons caution for his thirst of vengeance against Kujata. The wound in his heart festers and seethes, feeding his impatience at our seeming inaction. But we must not think ill of uh, the boy. Instead, let's let his helpless rage be a spur to our efforts. I will say again, old Kujata will fall by your hand. And I will shape you into the deadly weapon you need to be. Like, it's just a cow, man. Just let me get it. We learned Reprisal. Where's Reprisal? There it is. Wow, that was intense looking. I don't know where, where any dummies are. I really don't. It wouldn't let me hit those dummies. Alright. Let's get a look at this hat. Alright. I mean, yellow is an interesting choice. Red, blue, and yellow. Can't even think of a country that's red, blue, and yellow. I'm all the primary countries. Or colors. Not countries. Primary countries. Uh, let's see. When is the next Marauder job? Just for reference. 25. Okay. I'll see you in three levels. Alright. Now... I feel like I should do that quest that we've been sitting on for several days. You've been sitting on a quest! <laughs> I have been sitting on a quest. Moraby Dry Docks. Alright, where's the Chocobo Porter? It's right there! I don't think you know where the Chocobo Porter is. Your country flag is red, blue, and yellow? The Philippines? I, okay, cool. I don't think I've seen the Philippines flag. It's not ringing a bell. I'm sure I have. I just... I'm not picturing it. Yeah, can I call somebody? You want to call somebody on your phone? You can try. Let's see. Moraby Dry Docks. There we go. When I look at the inventory, is there like an optimize? There we go. 
That way I can stop looking for my new items. Ooh, I do like my new axe, though. Yes, daughter? I'm a pride? Yes. Like of lions? Yes. Oh, okay. Do 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 I still need to make a, a dish from the Philippines. Oh, uh, I think you might follow her, Mika M Mika Chiru from uh, Malaysia. She was doing uh, a cooking stream and she made Ramley burgers. The Malaysian street burgers, and I made those, and they were delicious. Daddy, the yeah, Mika, exactly. But I saw her doing a cooking stream, and I, I, I copied her burgers, and they were delicious. As far as I could tell, it was just, uh, it was basically just a regular cheeseburger, uh, but with Worcestershire sauce and wrapped in an egg. It was great. I like the egg. You like the egg? Who said that? Oh, it was so good. I think I might have eaten four burgers. Which uh, is prob you know, too many burgers, but Give oh my 15. god. The first Filipino dish that comes to mind is adobo. Oh, that sounds delicious. I will eat an adobo. You have a missus from me from Forge Master Hanaza. I assume it pertains to the pending arrivals of materials I ordered over a moon pass. Let's see it then. We did it. We got distracted for like an hour, but we did it. Blast and botheration, another delay. Delay. I was well aware of the shortage of skilled artisan artisans, but this is insufferable. Uh, my apologies. The messenger doesn't deserve to bear the brunt of my frustration. Might I have your name? Old, is it? Well, old. This proud maiden you see taking shape before you is the victory. The first new vessel to grace the docks since the calamity. We may have lost the bulk of our ships on that fateful day. But starting with this beauty, we will restore the Maelstrom's fleet to its former glory. The victory is more than a simple warship. It is the symbol of Limsa Lamensa's rebirth from the wreckage wrought from by the coming of the Seventh Umbral Era. Thus, we are striving to complete our construction as swiftly as possible, even going so far as to hire veteran shipwrights from outside the Thassalo... The last the last socracy? Dad, are you under that? I am not under the boat. Yet even with such unprecedented measures, there are enough ha there are never enough hands to handle the abundance of tasks. Should you choose to linger at the docks for a time, there's no end to the odd jobs for hard working adventure. Be be you fair warned, there is no place here for layabouts and troublemakers. Okay, can I have some shoes? Leather jack boots, please. Just thought of how your character would introduce themselves. It would be, I am old. I'm old. I am old. I got red boots. I mean, at least I look like I'm in. I, I'm about to be beat up. Look a little ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> I, I will not. These are my pants, and I will wear them with pride. They're they're great boots. I like these boots. You don't like them? Well, too bad. They're so red. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you had a good time. Uh, we will play more of this tomorrow.
We'll go through all the the dry docks quests, and I'm sure there will be uh, a bit of cool story as well. We'll probably see that cat girl again, Ishtola. I'm actually a little curious about this boat. I'm wondering if we'll see it again in like the later story. Dad, can I see the boat? It's been a while. It it's right in front of me, daughter. That boat. The one that's being built. This is a boat. Okay, I'm done with you, daughter. <laughs>